Okay, it's been a year since I made this video. Last time I talked about it was, I don't know, sometime in March and April last year. And I was very excited to talk about turbo modules at the time. And somebody on YouTube made a comment saying that turbo modules is out in 63. And I was very excited to check it out, only to be a little bit disappointed because I don't see turbo module mentioned anywhere. This is the React Native blog post. And here it says, announcing React Native 62 with Flipper. No mention of turbo modules anywhere. And I go to the React Native release page and I see 63 release candidate. What is in release candidate? Native colors, lock blocks, lock box, pressable component, no mentioning of turbo modules. So I'm like, okay, so what is the status of turbo modules right now? So I found the issue, the GitHub issue ticket that's related to turbo modules. And based on the comment, it looks like this is from NS Nera on January 30th this year. So somebody asked, what's the time frame for turbo modules? When will the code gen be ready? So the code gen is the C++ code that generates the native code in turbo modules, docs, guidance, and all that stuff. So specifically here, they mentioned that on the iOS side, there are a few OSS native modules that needs to be migrated to turbo module system. Uh, specifically, these are the RCT animate module, RCT event dispatcher, timing, CXX module, event emitter, dev loading view. So these look like pretty foundational components that still need to be migrated over. On Android side, it's a little bit hairier because, okay, this is what they said. The generated base class for each native module must be able to create its own turbo module, JSI host object. This required changes on our internal code gen. Internally, we currently rely on a giant CS C++ function that maps a module's JS name to a turbo module JSI host object. So then every application needs to write its own C++ function. And this is very cumbersome and very difficult to maintain. They have land block tests to ensure correctness and they wanted to move away from this internally. So it looks like Android side, it's uh, even more work that needs to be done. So we need to write documentation. Documentation needs to have overviewed for both iOS and Android side what's a turbo module compatible native module for in-house native modules, how to use the code gen, okay, okay, implement the Android version of the native modules code gen, okay, wow, we haven't done that yet, okay, open source, the native modules code gen, so, uh, and then three out of four crashes are with turbo modules, so this is not reliable. So it looks like the timeline they're looking at is first half of 2020, but based on this post here, it looks like there's still a lot of work to be done. So yeah, we'll hope for the best. Um, let's see if it comes out this year.